Well, Frankie, we'll start off with your big play at the end of practice today. You picked off Baker. Just take me through that. Uh, yeah, we were in cover two. Uh, there were no huddling. Quick snap kind of got out there, and I uh, seen Ian, you know, just kind of glanced back. And, I mean, those opportunities, when they show up, you try to take advantage of it. So right there at the right time and made a play. Yesterday, Baker said the defense loves to do a lot of trash talk, and he says he's not afraid to say yeah. anything back. But how do you kind of feel like maybe that was a statement? I feel like, you know, competitive, man. We're trying to compete, trash talk, and then at the end of the day, we come back and, and you know, show love. You know, at the end, but while you're in practice, I feel like you need that energy and you need that competitiveness from each side so we can get each other better. So, yeah. First week in pads, how do you see the difference from week one to week two with the competition amongst everybody? I mean, with pads on, I feel like it's a more, you know, realistic look. Now guys, can, you can see what they can do as far as coming downhill. It's all about tackling and, and blocking, you know, in the game of football. So it's good to put the pads on from, from week two. Week one, you know, got our fundamentals down and techniques. Uh, it's, it's good to, to feel that the pads on and get right to it, yeah. And for you, you were an undrafted free agent. You spent three seasons with the Jets, a one-year deal last year with the Panthers. You get rewarded with the two-year contract. How does it feel to see all of your hard work start to pay off? Man, I just thank God, you know, just it's a blessing um, to be undrafted and, and uh, to be voice for others, you know, like undrafted guys and young linebackers coming up. You know, it's, it's not how it starts. It's how you just, when you have the opportunity to show up, just trying to make most out of it. And uh, for me to have that position right now where I'm at today, I still take advantage of it and just be blessed every day as I come out here. And with that contract comes bigger expectations. A bigger role, Coach yeah. Rule said, we love Frankie not only as a player but as a leader. So knowing that the expectations are higher this year, how do you balance that? I try to take day one at a time. You know, uh, I'm still working on my craft, uh, you know, as I'm moving inside. And I told him, man, I'm, wherever you put me at, I'm like a sponge and I'm absorbing uh, information and taking it on the field. Um, be coachable at the end of the day, but um, you know they're counting on me and and for me to show that back You know it's huge for me and also to the team So, yeah. And speaking of being a sponge and stepping into different roles last year You were the only Panthers player to receive an all-pro vote that was for special teams with your expanded role How do you still plan on helping out that unit? Uh, I'll say every guy that uh, every year as I come in, you know, I'm, I'm a special team guy That's how I came in. That's how I I made my name and kind of stayed on the 53-man roster and trying to work, work my way up. So uh, as my role on special teams, you know, I'm there until they say I'm off, but um, I'm helping in any way I can. Uh, and this team believes so much in you that, you know, they didn't re-sign Hassan Reddick. He went on to, to sign a deal with the Eagles, but they're looking at you to kind of be that man to step up mm -hmm. and, and be opposite Brian Burns sometimes or play in the linebacker position. So how do you feel about stepping into that role? Man, shout out to Haas, man. He's been nothing but good uh, uh, brother to me. Um, you know, took me on his wing, came up his backup, and it was only me and him going back and forth. Uh, we never butt headed, and like we just kind of click, you know. And then for Burns and Marquise, you know, we just kind of stayed in that group. Haas, you know, I'm proud of Haas. Haas got his his bread, and uh, and it's just it's time for us, me, Burns, and, and Keese, man, to step it up, and uh, that's that's it. And going back to when you first came into the league, Kevin Green was an assistant coach with mm -hmm. the Jets, a mentor to you. He's a Hall of Fame player, spent some time with the Panthers. But what did you learn from him, and what did your relationship with him mean? My relationship with Kevin Green was tough. Like, it was tough love. Um, he pushed me to my limits. And his quote was, there's no substitute in kicking a grown ass man, excuse my language. But <laughs> I feel like that's the game of football, you know. Uh, no matter who's in front of you, and, and you know, it's all about heart. So for Kevin Green, man, RP to the great, you know, if, if it wasn't for him, he wouldn't have given me the opportunity to come out here and, and, and live my dream. And if I type your name in Google, a lot of the headlines will say primed for a breakout season. We saw flashes of that last year, but what are your goals for 2022? Man, just trying to be the best player I can be. Um, you know, like I said, control what I can control and uh, having my teammates who have that trust in me. And, you know, whatever happens, I leave it in God's hands. So, yeah. As you were walking over here, a lot of the fans out here yelling, Frankie, Frankie, just what does it mean to have them come out every day and sit out here in the hot sun in Spartanburg, take in practice and just hope for a chance to, to meet one of their favorite players? Man, it's a huge shout out to the fans, Panther Nation, man. Appreciate you guys always showing up on hot, sunny, rainy, thunderstorm days. You know, we, we don't show the love, but it don't go unnoticed. So we appreciate you guys and thank you for that. All right, quick rapid fire, and then I'll let you. I know you got meetings, you got stuff to do, so we'll start with this. What's on your training camp playlist? What gets, what gets you hyped? Training camp playlist, I will do uh, Fiji, Comic Kings, and uh, a lot of island reggae music, just, you know, feed the soul early in the morning, so yeah. Okay, one item you can't live without that you have to have here at camp? Oh, 
my water jug, <laughs> my bottle <laughs> jug. I'm, I gotta finish that gallon every time, so I can't. I gotta stay with that. Yeah. Okay, I saw on your Instagram story you guys were playing cards last night. There was some Starburst, some Gatorade. You were mixing something up there, but but tell me some of the things you learned about this team, like off the field. Man, off the field, I feel like we're here in Spartanburg because you know trying to get away from the city and trying to have that team bonding. So it's a cultural thing for us back home. It's called kava. It's a kava root, and uh, it's pretty much just powder and it's just like quarter of water poured in a bucket and we strain the juice out. It looks like dirt water, brown water, but it's actually a root that helps with like inflammation, also like muscle relaxes you. So it's a good time after a day in the sun, you go out, uh, take it at nighttime, you're about to rest, and this pretty much just puts you to rest. So, so and also have that team bonding with the guys. You had a good number of guys showed up, so I was surprised about that, but it was it was a good fellowship. So did you put the, some of your teammates on that? Yeah, they was, they was uh, the eyes are thin me and all that, but those are all the effects, but it's good because Feel like you wake up the next day, you feel good. And speaking of stuff like that, you're so far away from home. Right. What do you bring with you to Carolina that kind of reminds you of home or, or keeps you grounded and just takes you back to where you grew up? Uh, I carry around the ukulele. Uh, you know, I try to stay in, in the culture. I wear a lava lava, that's what we wear back home. People call it a skirt, but I'm like, you know, no, no <laughs> fan taken, you know. Um, but just like those little things, man, I feel like I talk with my family every day, trying to keep my spirits up in times like this, but um. Yeah, just trying to, that's how I'll get back to my coach. Yeah. All right, final question. What's your camp cheat meal? Camp cheat meal, uh, five guys. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. Appreciate you for having me.